Hey what's up everybody I'm Kelly and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious crawfish and corn chowder. This recipe serves up to about eight people and it is absolutely delicious. New Orleans classic. So let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your crawfish and corn chowder. You will need one pound of Louisiana crawfish tails. And along with that, you will need one pound of Louisiana bald crawfish. Now, if you can't find this in your area, just use the Louisiana crawfish tails. And along with that, you will need one 15 ounce can of whole kernel corn, no salt added. You also need some unsalted butter, all purpose flour, whole milk, heavy whipping cream, freshly shredded parmesan cheese, and for your seasonings you will need some green onion, garlic, Tony Sacheris Creole seasoning. Now if you don't have this you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slap Your Mama Creole seasoning. You also need some Chef Paul Padam Seafood Magic and some cayenne pepper. And there we have it. Chop a bunch of green onions. Also chop the ends to your green onions as well and set that aside. Here I have three cloves of garlic. We're going to chop that up. Here I have a crawfish. I'm just going to separate the tail from the head. We're going to place the head on the side and we're going to peel the shell off of the tail of the crawfish. And this is how it looks when we're done. We just have the crawfish heads. And over here we have the crawfish tails. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. Add 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter. Spread the butter along the bottom of the pan. Let the butter melt. Add 1 fourth cup of all purpose flour. Using a wooden spatula, stir all your ingredients together. And we're going to continue to stir this for about 3 minutes. And we're going to make a blonde roux with this. So just stir for 3 minutes. We've reached the blonde roux stage now. Now remember the ends to those green onions that I told you to chop. Add one cup of that in there. And to that we're going to add one tablespoon of chopped garlic. And one eighth cup of chopped green onion. Stir all your ingredients together. Let this saute for four minutes. Add three cups of whole milk a half a cup of heavy whipping cream let's add some seasoning add one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning one teaspoon of Chef Paul Podom's seafood magic and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper Stir all your ingredients together. Let this come to a simmer first. Once it comes to a simmer, turn your fire down from medium high to medium low heat. We're at a slight simmer now. Add your crawfish heads. Now if you don't have this, add an additional teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creel Seasoning, Chef Paul put on Seafood Magic, and a cayenne pepper. Stir all your ingredients together. You're going to let this simmer for 8 minutes. It's about 8 minutes now and as you can see our mixture has thickened. That's exactly what we want. Remove your crawfish heads. Now you want to tap that a little bit to remove the cream off of the crawfish. At this time, go ahead and taste your chowder to see if it's at your desired taste. 
If not, add more seasonings, but be careful, don't add too much. Add one 15 ounce can of whole kernel corn, no salt added, and the crawfish tails, and that includes the crawfish tails that we got from the crawfish that we peeled. Stir all your ingredients together. As you can see, the juices from the corn has thinned this out some. That's exactly what we want. Let this come to a simmer first. Then you let it simmer for six minutes. It's been about six minutes now. And our crawfish and corn chowder is now done. Look at that. Turn your fire off. Quick tips, your chowder will thicken as it cools and also once you place this into your refrigerator the flavors will increase and it will taste better the very next day. Here is the final presentation. As you can see I add a little crawfish on top of there. And there you have it, crawfish and corn chowder. If you like my channel you can subscribe to it. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or even donate to the channel visit www.charliecookandrews.com you can also find me on facebook at www.facebook.com slash charlie the cook andrews now you want to stay tuned at the very end of the video as i will do a taste test ah now it's time to go ahead and take a bite mm. my favorite part of doing videos get to eat Oh man, look at that. Mm. 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 Man, you could taste that crawfish. Those crawfish heads gave this dish an extraordinary flavor. It made all the difference. And plus you have the flavors from all the seasonings that we added and even the corn gives it flavor. I mean, oh man, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. And plus it has a nice little kick to it from the cayenne pepper, so it, 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 it works for me. Very, very good. Mm. I'm telling y'all, give the recipe a try. It's really good. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Crawfish and corn chowder made by a New Orleans native. Until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.